Okay guys, so I'm gonna practice a speed quiz with you guys, talk about how I would um, go about this speed quiz. So the first thing I see is um, a fraction. I would try getting rid of the fraction, so I would multiply this entire, you know, triangle, there's the word, all of the sides by five, which is again, the denominator. So when I multiply this by five, these cancel and my side is just three. Multiply this by five and I have five. So obviously this is a three, four, five. Now remember my answer is not four, it's four and then I have to do the opposite. So because I multiplied by five, I would have to divide this answer by five. Next, um, approaching this one, again, I would divide this by two. You can keep track like this. This turns into eight, this turns into 17. Oh look, I think this is a triple, right? So you can always go back to your triples. And this is an eight, 15, 17. So this is again 15, but because I divided by two, I have to multiply by two and my answer is 30. Okay, for C, um, I would do immediately divide each of these by 10, one and two. Okay, this is not a triple. So I'd square both sides, four, one. Because they're both legs, I add them together and then take the square root. So it's the square root of five. Uh, again, that's not my answer because I divided by 10, I have to multiply by 10 to get back to the original. Next question, I immediately just cross off the zeros and I know I have to stick a zero on. Um, this one looks like I can divide it by two. So I have a 12 and I have a 13. So again, I'm asking myself, okay, is there something with a 12 and a 13? There is, it's a five. But it's not just five, you have to multiply it by two to get back to the original. So multiply that by five by two and you get 10. And then keep in mind, I took a zero off. So I have to add a zero on to the bottom, okay? Um, looking at E, this next one, uh, for E, it looks like I can divide these by three. So I'm getting 25, seven, and then again, it's a seven, 24, 25, but the answer is not 24. You have to multiply by three. Um, so in my head, I would do 25 times three, and then you have to take one three away to get you 72, okay? Um, 63, I know this splits up into nine times seven, which is three root seven. Oh look, three root seven, four root seven, five root seven. So the answer is four root seven. Going over here to G, again, I would just cross these zeros off. Oh look, it's a seven, 24, 25. And then I just add a zero on. So the answer is 250. Okay, this is how I would do it. Um, I can't reduce anything. This is not a three, four, five. So I would do square this, square this. I'm working with a leg and a hypotenuse. So I subtract it and I get seven. Take the square root, answers the square root of seven. Okay, immediately I would cross these two zeros off and I know that I have to add two zeros on to the end. Um, this one looks like I can divide it by two. So I would divide it by two. So what do I get? 15 and eight, O. Oh, 8, 15, 17. Multiply by 2, I got 34, and I already put my two zeros there. Over here, again, multiply by 2 to get rid of that fraction. Multiply by 2, I get 8, 17. Oh, this is probably 15. Again, because I multiplied by 2, I have to divide by 2. So it's 15 divided by 2. Um, I'm looking at the next one. 15, 39. Each of these can be divided by 3, 5, 13. So ask yourself, is there a five something 13? There is, it's a five twelve thirteen 13. Because I divided by three, I have to multiply by three, get 36. Okay, L, uh, it looks like I can divide each of these by four. Oh, I think I can divide by a bigger number, can't I? So it, here's the deal. So if I divided by four and I come out with six and eight, um, Immediately, I'm like, whoa, I can still divide by something. I can still divide by two. And that leaves me with a three and a four. Obviously, this is a five. To get back to the original problem, now I don't only have to multiply by two, I also have to multiply by four. That's where that 40 comes from. If you guys were smart, I would divide by eight to begin with. Instead of dividing by four and then dividing by two, you can just divide by eight. Next question, um, both of these look like they're divisible by three. So I have a 13, I have a five, this is a 12, multiply 
by three gives me 36. Uh, next question, if you're stuck and you see even numbers, just divide it by two. So 26 divided by two, 24. Oh, I can divide by two again, 13, 12. So I divided by two and divided by two. Same thing as dividing by four. But if you were stuck and you didn't know you could divide by four, okay? So again, this is five, multiply by two, multiply by two. That's where the 20 comes from. Um, last question over here, let's see. Each of these can be divided by seven. So this is going to give me an 8, and this is going to give me a 5. Um, it's not a triple, so go ahead and square this. I get 64, 25. Um, we're going to subtract them because it's a hypotenuse and a leg. Subtract them, you get 39. Take the square root of that, so the answer is the square root of 39. But because I divided by 7, I have to multiply by 7. Okay, so again, I want you guys to practice, practice, practice.